Hey guys, my name is Carla Grace. I am a full-time wildlife artist and I've just completed my new tutorial on how to paint a black panther. In this sneak peek, I will demonstrate how to paint the panther's nose. First, I begin with a warm pinkish hue and then introduce purple tones to create depth. Next, I add bright highlights and darker tones to enhance the dimension of the nose. Finally, I use black to add definition and achieve a realistic textured nose. I show a step-by-step -step process on how to layer the paint efficiently, achieving a beautiful painting in less time while still being realistic. My process makes acrylic paint easy to work with, vibrant and takes all the guesswork out of the color mixes. Now I'll show you the full section from the tutorial and I'll see you at the end. So to create this realistic yet timely rendition of the nose, I'm going to use my filbert for the majority of it because it's going to allow me to dry brush in the details without having to be too specific. It'll also create the texture of that skin. So that smooth look without leaving too many lines on the surface of the painting. I'm going to use a lightish pink ish tone that I'm going to create using titanium white, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of burnt sienna and some alizarin crimson. So it's a warm brown gray tone. I'm going to allow a little bit of that Payne's gray to come in there. And I'm just going to use this over the entire nose, focusing on the sections that have more of that pink tone to it. It's a very soft look to the nose. So I don't want to lose that texture overall. And I want to capture those little dimples as well. So a lot of that will come in when I apply the highlights to the nose. So right now I'm just looking at getting that pink tone and the overall shape. I want to get that correct as well. So I'm looking elsewhere to see if this fleshy color is anywhere else in the portrait because I haven't really focused on it that much. Whereas if I can bring it in now without any extra effort, then that's what I'll do. So there is a purplish tone as well coming in from the reflection in the shadows in the shadow side of the portrait. So I'm gonna bring that in now as well. That's just a little bit too bright. Tone that down a smidge. Once I've finished the nose, then I will be able to add the whiskers to the portrait and call it finished. So I'm working in a circular motion with my filbert so that I can sort of create that rough cellular look to the flesh here and the real the circular shapes are gonna come in with the highlight tone. So I'm gonna bring that in next. So to me that, that nose is pink enough. I don't wanna go much pinker because otherwise it's gonna look off with the rest of the painting. And I do need to add another tone to the muzzle, but I'll do that shortly. So I'm going to use a much lighter version of that fleshy pink tone rather than just going straight to the brightest highlights. And I'm also going to use a lighter version of that blue on different sides of the nose. So now I'm just going to add these dots. I don't want there to be too much paint on my brush to do this because I don't want it to be too strong. I still want to have a little bit of variation here. I don't want the gaps to be too big between the marks that I'm making here because otherwise it won't look right. There will be some gap, but not too much. I'm going to come in with a glaze to darken these marks I'm making down the center of the nose because it's not all going to have this bright tone to it. So I need to tone that down and blend it into the shape. I'm going to go for a little bit of a darker tone now, that fleshy orangish tone, and just work that in and blend the marks together a little bit. Now I'm going to get some of that blue. I need to lighten it just a little bit and bring those blue reflections in. Just 
There's more blue. So I need to bring in a slightly darker tone to the muzzle to just sort of make that a little bit more solid looking. And I'm going to use my filbert for that and a slightly more purple version. So I'm going to use the mixes that I've already got going here. I'm, nothing, I'm not going to create anything new. I'm going to add a warmer element to it with the burnt sienna and a little bit more light. So it's like a warm grayish red purple. It's a really hard tone to describe. Let's just see how it turns out on here. So it needs to fill in these tones here to just make it more full looking and warm and give it that fleshy look. So I'm also gonna add this tone to the nose again. Just soften that flesh tone once, once more, bringing it back. And there I'm happy with that. Now obviously you can go as crazy as you want with all of these details and spend as much time on them as you like. I am now going to add a few bright tones to the nose to really make it stand out and this is essentially the finishing touches on the nose. So I've managed to create that detailed effect without spending a huge amount of time fussing over each individual detail. Obviously you can spend as much time on it as you like and make it as close to the reference photo as you feel comfortable doing. It's just gonna require more layers and a little bit more precision work if you really wanna take it that far. You can copy it as closely as you like. For me and the purpose of this tutorial, this is far enough. Essentially the most important elements to make sure that you're including is the contrast and the fleshy tones that really tie it in to the rest of the portrait. You need to make sure that the light is enough so that it looks like the nose is forward on the face rather than flat. This is going to give your portrait the final bit of depth that you need to make it look like it's really coming out of the painting. I'm just going to bring in some black again on the nose to ground it a little bit more, especially around here and give it shape again. The shadow in the nose is just as important as the detail in the highlights, so don't forget to bring that depth back in. You can imply the texture of those the little dimples just through the brushwork that you create here. And then I'm going to bring back just a tiny little bit more of those flesh tones, base of the nose here, just to add that little bit more shape to it. And I'm happy to leave the nose as it is right now, because if I keep going, I can overwork it and then we'll have something different altogether. There's just a patch on the nose that I need to tone down on the side of the face here, a little bit more black. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. For the full tutorial, please follow the link in the description. Remember to subscribe to see more tips and art from me, and I'll see you next time.